So what are some of the risks with for sale by owner? Let's get started. Okay, so the market's super hot. Everyone's getting top prices, supposedly. So some sellers are thinking, why not just sell it myself? Why do I need an agent? Well, there's a couple things to keep in mind with for sale by owner. First and foremost, not all buyers are looking at for sale by owner homes, right? So if you're thinking, I'm for sale by owner, where am I even gonna post it, right? You can't post it in the multiple listing service because you have to have a real estate license in order to do that and to be a member of the National Association of Realtors. So you can post a sign out in front of your house, but it, depending on where you're located, you may not get a lot of traffic going by. There might be some for sale by owner websites, but again, if the average buyer, because most buyers use an agent, they're not looking on those websites. So how would they really know that your house is actually for sale? So because of that, you're not getting the full amount of exposure that you're hoping to get, which means you may not actually be getting top dollar. It's kind of like selling off market versus on market. You don't know unless you get the full exposure. The second thing to keep in mind is there is actual liability. So with liability, meaning disclosure items, you don't know necessarily what you can and can't disclose, or I should say what you should and shouldn't disclose. So oftentimes we realize you only have to disclose what you factually know, but you might think, oh, should I disclose this? Well, maybe, because this might be true. And so you write it down, you give it to the buyer, and the buyer freaks out and the buyer walks away when you may not have had to actually disclose that. And now you just scared off a buyer. Conversely, you might have said, oh, I did this. I don't think you really needed a permit, but you actually did. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, but it wasn't a big deal. And it actually was. And now you have a lawsuit on your hands because you kind of knew that you needed a permit and you didn't. So, you know, it's, it's always kind of a gray area when it comes to that kind of stuff. And you don't really want to get sued, even though it is a buyer beware state for the state of California. But regardless, Disclosures are actually a huge thing and nobody likes getting sued. Um, third and foremost, yes, you're saving on the commissions, but buyers are expecting the same thing. They're hoping to also get a, the same discounts you are. Otherwise, they'd be going directly through the multiple listing service. It does work both ways and I've talked to many buyers about this. That's why they're looking at for sale by owners and why multiple studies have been done um, over the years that have all said that the average sales price is usually lower than when it's sold with a realtor and it's usually about the same, in which case you're netting the same. So if you're gonna net the same with a realtor, but then minus the liability, it's kind of a no brainer. Love to get your thoughts. Go ahead and comment below. Of course, every area is different. Every situation is different. So post your experience. Let me know. Talk to you guys later.